I got a week off work and uh, Jeff's sick for a week. There he is. Here we are, government worker. So uh, we're here for three days at the Smart Mine and uh, we're just doing a reconnaissance today. We're arriving kind of late because Jeff kept me making me stop the car all over the place. Uh, well, amongst those places, the Foymount Ghost Town, which I got a video on, which you can see in one of my other video postings. But anyway, um, we're down to do a reconnaissance right now. We're told there's three locations around the Smart Mine area, so we're just going to see where we want to dig tomorrow. So there's a lot of confusion as to what the Smart Mine is, what the Lost Mine is, what the Mini Mine is. This particular spot we followed a little trail leading off to the right as you're heading inwards, marked by a pop bottle on the tree. Some significant diggings here in cyanite. Looks like there might be corundum, maybe. Kind of mixed in with the cyanite. And huge fissures. A lot of them are seeming to go a little bit underground as well. So, again, we're just on the reconnaissance. I don't guarantee this is the spot we'll be digging. This is an example of one of these fissures. It goes along up this way. There's Jeff getting himself ready just to see what we've got in this area. This is a nice deep spot right up here. Looks like calcite and so on as well. So we're following the uh, tracks of a backhoe. Apparently the Walker Mineral Mineralogical Club was up here two weeks ago. They bought a backhoe, which says to me, they knew what they were doing. Their combined experience far exceeds mine. So I'm thinking primo location, wherever they've been digging. Looks like Jeff's at the spot. You gotta see this, look at this, look at the crystals. This is tomorrow's stuff, man. This is what we're going to be working on tomorrow. Just a wall of these crystals. Look at that. Beautiful. Amazing. There's Jeff. He's found a pocket of lovely glassy reddish appetites, which he's going at right now. Looks like tree roots would stop people getting into it. This area I am. Look at the size of these books of mica. Look at them. Just cute. Unfortunately, Everybody left their gloves from the last group that was here. I've probably found about five pairs of gloves. I favor this pair. It looks kind of sporty with the holes and so on, but it's just something I found. Um, uh, you know, not bad. I mean, it's it's a sizable sort of crystal formation. Just really interesting to see. Um, of course, always wear the safety glasses. That's really essential. Um, you got to wear these gloves too, by the way. When you're digging in this stuff, there's so much sharp like mica and all sorts of things slash your fingers to pieces and you don't even feel it because you're on a high uh, trying to find minerals, right? This is weird. Obviously this fissure here has yielded weirdly formed appetite. No translucence. Almost looks like melted candles. So they're really not that wonderful collector specimens and they're scattered all around this trench. And the rain has set in for the evening. We're heading back. Go down to Eganville. Hope to find a Kentucky Fried Chicken or a Chinese food place. Oh, baby, buy some little guy. Oh, look at them all. Look at them. Come on. Come on, guys. What are you looking for, Jeff? Bed bugs? Nah, just dirt. Dirt? Dirt. What are we doing today, Jeff? Digging. Where? Good. How do you sleep? Yeah. Can you be more talkative for my video, please? It's a dirty, 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 dirty hotel. How can you say that? Just because I got bed bug bites all over me? I'd like to just briefly point out a few of the highlights of my ba bath this morning. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, jeez. No plug there to use a cloth to plug it. Seriously, what about the credit card issue that you mentioned? And uh, possibly their credit card being used to book airline tickets. Really? To where? Did it say it where? It didn't say where. I should have took the why, why did you even book us in here then, man? Like, what kind of insanity <laughs> led you to think this would be okay? <laughs> Joke's on you. It was your credit card you used, right? <laughs> Unfortunately. I... What are those two books on the bed there that you've been looking at? Mineral collecting. Good. Okay. And Sabine is one of them. 
and uh, the other one gives you a couple of good clues as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of drilling here. I'm hoping that by very carefully drilling down along the very edge here, I can weaken up the supporting structure to finally top, prop this, uh, pop this large scale appetite out. So I mean the whole wall is full of appetite, as I say, which is kind of nice. I mean, but that just looks like the most likely prospect. And I think when I'm done messing with that, I'll probably start going over there. Because I mean, if they look this good in the wall, there's probably a couple of other good ones in there. Even though for the most part, we've just been popping out, you know, out of the soil, some nasty sort of ill-formed crystals. They look almost melted and with no transparency whatsoever to them. So that's kind of, that's where we're at. It's going to take a while, but I think it'll be worth it if I can pop that out. Guess what Jeff just found? Don't know how well it's focusing. That's Amazonite. Another form of feldspar. Looks like just a beautiful color on it. Good job, Jeff. Where'd you say you found it? Uh, it was over in the spoil pile. That whole piece is Amazonite. It's just the, the very end of it is, is that beautiful sort of bluish color, right? Night. Looks like I got some smoky quartz there. It's really good transparency on it. A lot of calcite, the appetite embedded in it. vein here I'm just holding out appetite with my hands like within a minute that's what I found so far doesn't mean they're good quality at this point but basically the vein probably extends for at least 10 feet in either direction so let's see what I first time ever to see human beings what's this nothing so spectacular it's all appetite though look at this look at that look at that prism right there just pulled it out of the ground amazing find a nice one I like that look at that oh Beautiful, the, eh? The double. Beautiful. That's it. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Yeah, you never know until you wash it what you have. That's what I. No, this is all filthy, dirty. Some of them are very transparent. Minimal fracture. In other words, almost no fracture on these appetites. Looks like we found a bunch of titanite here. You can see it right there. Titanite, a lovely lustrous piece of titanite there. They got a very distinctive shape and a very distinctive luster. There's a piece of titanite there as well. So it almost seems that amongst the better places to look um, is right here in the turf on top of uh, on top of this hump. Um, so you got fissures down on that side. This is the far the far um, the far part of the. Uh, smart mine and you've got fissures on this side and there's your marker that beautiful big tree there so that's how you know what i'm talking about so this whole top here it almost seems like digging here at the edge of the hump uh, i'm finding appetite titanite um, and a whole range of other goodies of which i've not identified just right there on top of the rock just beneath the moss so it's definitely a, a it's a pretty primo place to, to dig and I know I dug in the middle here and here's where I found my only titanite crystal of the day. It's right there in the middle, first shovel full I took. Um, going down, got about two feet, two and a half feet of dirt and then the rock itself. There's probably fissures running underneath here, you can always just tell by the depressions in the surface up top. So, uh, end of our digging today. We got ourselves quite a hole down here. And we're starting to hold up appetite. Looks like it's filling with water right now. But uh, I guess it's time to head off. Bears will be coming out around it. Yeah.